what's up it's april welcome to another weekly reading vlog it is tuesday evening you will have seen i just made the most delicious ravioli for dinner it was delightful so didn't vlog at all yesterday uh didn't vlog at all today really <laughs> i have been really lazy because i sort of ran out of books to read and i didn't want to start any new books because the owl's magical readathon starts tomorrow so i didn't want to start anything so i've just been playing animal crossing and just being a potato but today i did film and edit my march wrap up so that will be up by the time you see this video you can probably hear my laptop working super hard in the background trying to export that but yeah i'm so excited for the owls to start oh my gosh so tomorrow I have booked Luna and Oscar in for the vet because at the dog park the other day Luna got a bite on her paw and she will not stop licking it. It's like a huge lump now. I don't know what bit her but it's really bothering her and she's like limping on it and stuff. And when we got back from the dog park it was bleeding and she's been having a bit of a sook about it. Usually she's like really playful in the afternoons but she's just like lying there being all sooky. And also Oscar has this massive like rash under his arm. He's had it before. Um, he gets flare-ups of it sometimes because he has like an autoimmune disease that sometimes causes like skin problems. And it's getting it's just getting really bad like it looks like a bunch of blisters and usually it goes away on its own but i just want to go to the vet just to you know make sure i can do everything i can for him so that he can get better as quickly as possible so the vet's doing this cool thing like this no contact thing so i just call them when i get there and they come and take Luna and Oscar from the car and like do the examination um, in the room and then they talk to me afterwards I guess. So that's on the agenda for tomorrow. Lucky Blackie's got nothing wrong with him right now. But my TBR for this week, um, because it's a shorter week because you know we lost two days because it was the end of March, I only have two books on my TBR for this week but I'll probably read more. Sorry my battery died. So I have an audiobook and a physical book on my TBR. My audiobook is going to be Frankenstein by Mary Shelley because I'm attempting to finish the prompts that I need to for my career first. So this is for Ancient Runes to read a book with heart on the cover. So I'm going to be listening to that. And then my physical read is my reread of City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. I'm going to be annotating this. And this is for Transfiguration to read a book including Shapes Shifting. So those are the two books on my TBR, but I'm probably going to also read Flying Witch Volume 2 because I just can't wait. So we'll see how these three go and if I finish them, I'll start other things. But we'll talk about that when it happens. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to catch up on my two pregnancy books. Wow, I am definitely behind because last time I read this I was up to week 15 and I'm now 23 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So I've got some catching up to do and this one is in months. So I'm in my fifth month now. So I, I, I would like to read the chapter based on the fifth month. So we'll catch up on those and then I think we'll play Animal Crossing. Might do that and might start my Frankenstein audiobook. But that's pretty much all my plans for this evening. Uh, I'll probably start reading my Alice books tonight because I just can't wait and that's fine. But that is it for now. Three days later. Hello. I've not vlogged all week. It's now Friday. I have been feeling so lazy this week. I've just been playing Animal Crossing. I have read quite a bit. I'll talk about that in a second but I've just been feeling so lazy I just don't want to do anything so update on Luna and Oscar uh, Luna they said they couldn't really see anything like that was a major problem it's just a bit swollen so she has a cone on um, I only make her wear it at night and then during the day I just watch her to make sure she doesn't lick it and Oscar they had to put him back on steroids which is a shame but hopefully he won't have to stay on them for too long and he has a cone on as well. He is very grumpy about it. <laughs> so I have to take Oscar back next week just to make sure everything's healing and hopefully we can lower his um, dosage. But yeah, he's been feeling very sorry for himself. Um, Reading wise, 
I've gotten so much done because I've been playing so much Animal Crossing so a lot of audiobook listening has been happening because I have decided to like rearrange my entire island. It's nowhere near like where I want it to be yet but I might show you that later if you guys are interested. And I've also started flower breeding so that has taken a lot of time but on the first day of the owls i finished frankenstein by listening to the audiobook and i didn't really enjoy this i thought it was pretty boring it's very different than what a lot of people think the story of frankenstein is because frankenstein is actually the scientist who created the monster not the monster itself so he created this monster but is the monster really a monster just because he looks different than humans essentially the scientist frankenstein was an asshole and was so determined to label uh, the monster as a monster that the monster ended up you know fulfilling that role and becoming a monster i mean it was interesting but I don't know 2.5 stars like it's it's good but it's not my favorite classic i've read and then also on the first day i read flying witch volume 2 which was adorable as expected it's not as good as the first volume though in my opinion so i gave it four out of five stars and again it does have gender stereotyping and negativity around gaining weight but that just seems to be a theme in a lot of manga and i think it's just the different culture but yeah really loving this series. I'm sad I don't have any more volumes to read. And then I started my reread of City of Lost Souls but I am not far into it. I'm up to chapter three. <laughs> I wanted to have read so much more of this but like I said I've just been really lazy. I still would love to finish this by the end of this week. I mean it's only midday on Friday. We, we could do it even though it's a huge book but we shall see. So because I finished my audiobook of Frankenstein, I needed a new audiobook to listen to. So I picked up Malamanda by Thomas Taylor, which is a middle grade. And I'm almost done with this as well. I think I'm going to be flying through all my audiobooks and scrambling to finish all my physical reads for this month. But this is really fun. I don't think it's going to be five stars, but I am really enjoying the audiobook and flipping through the pictures as well. Look how creepy that is. Look how cute! Anyways, so we'll probably finish this today, but right now, me and my friend Kayla from Literature Reads, channel linked in the corner, I think we're going to visit each other's islands. So, I'll check in with you later. <laughs> Hello. It is... Oh, here comes Luna. Hello! She wants to play. It is Saturday evening. It's really hot. I feel like I'm really red. Yes! Hello! Hello! <laughs> um, yeah, it's Saturday evening. I have gotten so much reading done since I spoke to you last night for the last night I spoke to you. So I finished listening to Malamanda and this was so fun and so cute. It follows this boy who um, runs the lost and found counter at this hotel on this in this seaside town. Hang on, running out of storage. Be right back. And 12 years ago this girl was dropped off at this lost and found counter and it's 12 years later she's come back to the town to find out what happened to her parents and why she was left there but we also have a little bit of a mystery going on at the same time because it appears that a magical creature that appears once a year may or may not be real and it may or may not be related to the girl's parents and yeah it's just really fun it also has a little bit of diversity the girl is black and the story itself was it was just so fun it's super well written really loved the audiobook really loved the illustrations and it's going to be a series so we didn't get all the answers that i wanted in this book but that's okay i'm more than happy to pick up the sequel when it comes out i'm pretty sure it comes out in a couple of months so yeah i gave this four out of five stars and i got this in an outgrade junior box and i'm so happy i did because otherwise i wouldn't have read it and it was so cute then today i spent like all afternoon on facetime with kara and i read so much 
of City of Lost Souls. I'm halfway through now. I read like 230 pages today and when I actually sit down and read this book I just I fly through it. I think it's because I've read it quite a number of times and it's very dialogue heavy a lot of the time and it's just like it's just a really quick read. So I am intending on finishing this tomorrow and I'm excited about it. And then I had to start a new audiobook because I finished Melamanda. Oh, I'm going to run out of audiobooks. I'm going to have to consult my TBR jar again soon because I only had four audiobooks picked out for this month and I'm already on the third one. <laughs> so yeah, I started listening to Anna Kay by Jenny Lee. I was going to listen to a Tessa Dare book that's on my TBR, but Scribd decided that it hates me and all of the titles I've saved aren't available until the 12th. So... <laughs> That's okay, I had Anna Kay on Audible, so I started listening to this, and it's really good so far. I'm 75 pages in, but the font is really small, but the audiobook is so good. It's so well narrated. But yeah, this is a Anna Karenina retelling, but it's obviously a contemporary YA. Set in New York, it's very gossip girly, like very gossip girly. There's already a ton of diverse characters. Anna Kay is half Korean and she is like the biggest Hufflepuff. I relate to her character so much apart from the fact that she is filthy rich <laughs> but she's obsessed with animals. She reads books all the time. And she cries when she hear, hears about animals dying like it's just me. <laughs> Such a Hufflepuff. We also have a black side character who also has anxiety, which is awesome. Love to see it. And he's also Jewish and adopted. We also have Thai characters. There's been mention of gay characters. But yeah, I was really worried going in because when I started listening to it, um, at the start, it has a massive list of all of the characters. And it just went straight over my head when I was listening to it. I'm like, oh my God, there's so many characters like this is this person's sister and blah, blah blah it was so complicated but once you actually get into the story jenny lee is so good at introducing her characters so well so that i know who they all are i know where they fit into the story and it's just like really easy to listen to already there are themes of cheating in this book so if that bothers you I don't know what to tell ya. There's quite a few trigger warnings I've already written down actually. Cheating, drug use, there's a dog dying, there's a sporting career that ends due to an injury, there's divorced parents, there's slut shaming, there's death of a parent in the past. Already, I'm only 75 pages in so just be wary of that. But all the trigger warnings will be listed in my review, uh, which will be up when I finish this book. I don't think it'll be tomorrow though. Maybe on Monday or Tuesday, I'll probably finish this book. I mean, I might finish it tomorrow. I do play a lot of Animal Crossing. <laughs> a lot of Animal Crossing is doing mindless tasks around your island, which is the perfect opportunity to listen to an audiobook. So yeah, I'm so happy with my progress so far this month. It's only the 4th, no, yes, it's the 4th of April. And I finished three books and I'm halfway through this one. And a significant chunk through this one, I would say. I just feel like I'm gonna kick this readathon's ass and it's gonna be amazing. Um, update on Oscar. His rash is getting a lot better already and I'm very happy about it. And Luna's doing pretty good too. She isn't licking it as much, which is good. But yeah, that's really all I have to update you on right now. Sorry, my life's kind of boring. <laughs> I don't know if like this is a bad thing for me to say but I am living my best life right now. My dream is just to stay at home and do nothing and that's what I've been doing these past couple of weeks and it has been incredible. I'm a very introverted lazy person and I just want to stay at home and read books and play Animal Crossing and watch YouTube videos and make YouTube videos and cuddle my pets all day and it's just so 
relaxing and I'm so grateful that I get to do that and I don't want that to come across the wrong way but you guys know me you know what I mean anyways um I'm just gonna chill in bed it's like I don't even know what time it is it's only 8 p.m. ah uh, probably go to sleep anyways <laughs> good night the next day hi so it's 4.30 in the afternoon on Sunday. As I was going to bed last night, I went on Twitter and I was like, oh my god, the magical all-nighter, the 24-hour readathon that's a part of the Owls readathon, was starting at 11 p.m. my time last night. And I was like, well, but I can't survive without a heck ton of sleep. So I'm kind of like low-key participating in that. And I didn't vlog at all this morning because I don't know why but I was feeling really anxious like more anxious than I felt in a really long time I think that's because I have my first appointment with my midwives tomorrow even though it's online like I don't even have to leave my house I don't know why I'm just like anxious I, I suppose I'm I've just gotten used to relaxing so much that having to do anything is like anxiety inducing <laughs> so anyways what I did to combat my anxiety this morning is I played Animal Crossing of course and then I just lay in bed and listen to the entirety of Anna Kay. I wasn't intending on finishing this today but I just got so hooked into the story I just didn't want to stop listening. So yeah this book holy shit. I have an extensive review already written on Goodreads about this book because I had a lot to say. It has kind of a similar tone to Crazy Rich Asians and Gossip Girl, that type of thing at first, but then as you get further into it, it delves deeper into dark themes and me not knowing the plot of Anna Karenina, the ending of this book, like punched me in the stomach. I just felt like crying. <laughs> so I highly recommend if you don't know the original story of Anna Karenina, don't look up the plot. I feel like this book is much more impactful not knowing the original story that it's based off of. But oh my gosh, I just love Anna Kay and Vronsky so much so yeah definitely check out my review if you're interested there are a crap ton of trigger warnings for this book they are in my review but yeah i couldn't i think i'm settling on a 4.5 star rating for this because like the first half i was like this is not gonna get above like a three stars but um as it went on i just got more and more attached and i ended up loving it and it's making me really want to read Anna Karenina now but isn't that like a 900 page book we don't have time for that right now so yes like I said it's 4 30 in the afternoon and I still have to finish City of Lost Souls to complete my weekly goals which I think we can totally do because like I said I've been flying through this book when I sit down to read it I'm on page 289 of 534 so we can do it if I don't procrastinate. And then that will have been two books read during the magical all-nighter. Fantastic. I am just feeling so emotional after finishing Anna K. Uh, Luna, I'm emotional. Hi, it's me two seconds later with an idea on how to pro procrastinate reading my book. I realized that I forgot to, at the end of March, go through my TBR jar and pull out the ones that I read and add in the books that I hold. So I think I'm going to do that because I've been meaning to do this and I keep forgetting to do it and if I don't do it now I fear I will not do it at all. So let's do that. Ha 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 that's a lot of books. Luna that's a lot of books. It's a lot of books. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you. Okay, I just went through every slip of paper in the jar and I can take all of these ones out, which is very exciting. So I think the last time I updated my jar was at the end of February or the beginning of March, or maybe in the middle of March. 
I don't know. But I could take out nine slips of paper. So we took out Melamander, Frankenstein, Flying Witch Volume 2, Crescent City, To Be Taught If Fortunate, Chain of Gold, Elantris, Stalking Jack the Ripper, and Are You Listening are the ones that I can take out. Now I have not gotten many books lately so I do have this little bag with sequels in it so I'm gonna need to find Hunting Prince Dracula, the second book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series because I own that. And I'm going to put that in the jar. And then I think I only have three books to add to my jar. We have Imagine Me, which my copy has not arrived in the mail yet, but I'm hoping it will next week. And then we have The Kingdom of Back and City Spies, which were the Alcrate and Alcrate Jr. books for March. So that's really satisfying for me that I can take out nine slips of paper and I'm only putting in three new ones. What the heck? <laughs> That's awesome. So let's see. We've got... Here's Hunting Prince Dracula. We're putting in four slips of paper including this one. I wish I knew how many books are on my TBR at the end of March but I only recatalogued my TBR like in the middle of March, I posted a vlog where I did that and the number at that time was 207. And at the end of March, that number remained at 207. Let's see what it is right now, because I have the list on my laptop. Oh, right now it's at 204, so we are getting that number down, which is great. Okay, there they are. I just need to go and get my scissors, cut them up and put them in. But uh, the jar is not as full as it was like you can see there's a little space at the top now okay it's time to read my damn book now <laughs> hello it is monday evening i'm sorry it took me so long to update you to finish this vlog but today was a day but last night i did it i managed to finish my reread of city of lost souls and i have a whole review up on my goodreads i'll leave all my reviews for these books in the description as per usual but yeah 3.5 stars. It's not my favorite Shadowhunter book, but it's not my least favorite Shadowhunter book either. So that means in the first five days of the Owl's Magical Readathon, I've read five books. What the heck? So let's quickly go through them and the challenges that they complete. So the first book I finished for the Owls was Flying Witch Volume 2. I gave this four stars. And this was for History of Magic to read a book featuring witches or wizards. And that is one of the essential subjects for my career. Then I listened to Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I gave this 2.5 stars. And this was for Ancient Runes to read a book with a heart on the cover or in the title. And this was again necessary for my career. Then I listened to Malamander by Thomas Taylor. Loved this, gave this four stars. This was for Herbology, read a book that starts with M. This was not necessary for my career, but I needed an audiobook to listen to. <laughs> then I listened to Anna Kay by Jenny Lee, loved this. Looking back, I think it might be a four stars, not a 4.5, like I was saying, but I still really, really loved this. And this was for Muggle Studies to read a contemporary, again, not for my career, but I needed an audiobook. And then lastly this week, I read City of Assaults which gave 3.5 stars and this is for Transfiguration to read a book including shape-shifting and this does count towards my career. So the only prompts I have left for my career are Arithmancy and Charms. That's it. And I finished my owls. <laughs> what the heck? So my book for Arithmancy is Imagine Me. So this week my goal is going to be rereading the Shadow Me books and then reading Imagine Me when it arrives. And Charms, read a book with a white cover is Restore Me. So that goes in with that. So by the end of this week, I will have finished my owls. Of course, I still have the other random owls that I want to read. Like Astronomy, Care of Magical Creatures, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Divination and Potions. I still need to do those prompts. Well, I don't need to, but I want to. But yeah, that's going to be it for this reading vlog. I'm sorry if it was kind of boring. Let me know how your first week of the owls went. And I will see you really soon in a new video. Goodbye. Bye.